Uh, this is my first attempt at using an MC14495. That's a, uh, a CMOS um, hexadecimal to seven segment display driver. Um, so this is a common cathode uh, display. This is the MC14495. It's a CMOS chip, so it's... I usually work with TTL, which is a little more forgiving of static. Um, but, uh, but anyway, it seems to be working. So four, um, four lines come in um, for like ones, twos, fours, and eights. And then there's um, these drivers that go out. Uh, there's actually uh, eight of those because there's the, the decimal. Um, over here I just have a, uh, a dip switch um, for ones, two, four, and eights. Um, I've got it uh, pulled low with this 4.7k uh, pull down resistor and then these are the, the ups and then this over here I just pulled it over here that's the clock it's it's what latches the data into the uh, into the, the built-in register on this thing so I'm just gonna go through the numbers real quick here I'll have to hold this down it's uh, it doesn't fit in the breadboard very well so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen um yeah you can see it's it's touchy. Where is that? What's loose? I think it's this breadboard, actually. There we go. Yeah. It's it's this breadboard. It doesn't have very good contacts. Anyway, you can see it's... it's I think it's a success, regardless. Come on. There we go, and that's one, zero, and then two, and four, and eight. All right, well, I guess that's a success. Um, it might mean I should be buying better quality breadboards, though.